That I would like to hear. Yeah, Lord knows they'll have some very interesting ones. What do you have on your law books that I can make fun of? I'm sure it's. <laughs> I am sure it's interesting. <laughs> um, where was I? Yeah, the uh, the government on the 18th released their big bailout package for all of us, and I was spot on last week when I said, "Yeah, great." Uh, individuals are <laughs> individuals are entitled to a four hundred dollar check if your taxes are done. Uh, Justin Trudeau will give you four hundred dollars, so that's about two weeks' pay, right, for everybody who had to stay home. Two, it's about a buck an hour. That seems about right. And I, <laughs> that is still uh, waiting on royal assent, so. The, the queen hasn't signed off on that, so don't get, don't start lining up for your four hundred bucks yet. <laughs> don't go spending it all at once. <laughs> oh my good god, just ridiculous. No, uh, the, yeah, I thought it was interesting. Just, that we, so I don't. We still don't need royal assent. I was going to get mad about it, but I was worried it might scare the queen and I'd go to jail. <laughs> the last time the queen was in Canada was in two thousand and ten. Yeah, there you go. That's ten years ago. She doesn't know what's going on over here. Yeah, uh, she doesn't have a fucking. She didn't have a. She didn't have a clue what was going on when she was here. That's true. Who are we kidding? <laughs> um, um, I do have one piece of non-corona related uh, news, by the way. Cool. Um, the the um, the Afghan peace deal that was signed with the U.S. Uh, um, that was almost signed. That was almost signed. Uh, well, well, signed and then taken back. Wasn't that the way it was? Uh, wasn't yeah, it well, signed and then removed? About nine days before they broke the peace treaty. So, well, well, there's been eighty attacks in Afghanistan since the U.S. signed the peace deal, <laughs> which was, I believe, February twenty eighth. <laughs> Don't quote me on that, but it was 20, the twenty eighth or twenty eighth or twenty. 20- 28th or 29th, one of the two. <laughs> End of February, they signed that peace deal, and there's been how many attacks? 80. 80. So Almost 80. Almost 80. It's only 80. Like, that's their whole thing. It's, 80 is peace. What are you talking about? <laughs> what, what's the big deal? It's Those were peaceful Afghani. attacks. Those we were cares? friendly attacks. My friend, that's what we do. There's only 80. <laughs> 80 is not more. No. What's the big deal? God, yeah. whiners. I don't. <laughs> yeah, guess who probably doesn't give a shit about coronavirus? <laughs> yeah. Uh, people, there's a few countries. Uh, people are still getting <laughs> the shit bombed out of them. <laughs> so, yeah, there was that. Uh, 80 um, attack. That is. That's amazing. That's after the peace deal. There was eighty attacks. Yeah, <laughs> someone, Eight. maybe one of you. I'm not saying who, but one of the teams over there needs to get a better interpreter. <laughs> <laughs> Someone's step, misunderstanding. Step number one. <laughs> um. I don't know if you heard uh, the governor and attorney general of Texas are moving to ban most abortions in the state during the coronavirus outbreak, declaring that they don't qualify as essential surgeries. Well, so any abortion that is not medically necessary to preserve the life or health of the mother, they will not allow it. Um, uh, No one is exempt. That's it. Fuck you! You're not getting one uh, oh. until after all of this shit. I so I who I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what to do with Texas. <laughs> it's such a beautiful state, but God, y'all motherfuckers are idiots. Um, and really, like, was that necessary? Like, is that really the biggest thing on your mind right now? It, um, even if corona, it, whether coronavirus turns out to be a real threat, which in America it is, I grant you, 
Um, it's a hell of a lot worse than it is here. And, you know, regardless of what the outcome happens to be in that country, and I know I hope it's good and lots of people live and not many people die. I really do. That's that's my hope for them. But at the end of the day, is abortion really what's on your mind? No matter how bad the virus is, that's where your mind goes first thing. Like, surely yeah. there's more priorities than that. No, they've already got the toilet paper, so they're okay. Like, this is your big, <laughs> oh, let's find a way to fuck with abortion now. Like, come on, guys, <laughs> figure something else out a little more productive than that. Uh, yeah. Why was that instantly where your mind goes? Yeah, a little bit, little, little bit insane on that one, but uh, yeah. The one thing I did uh, like that I heard was Costco announced they're not accepting returns. So all that's right. you hoarders, when this blows over and you've got a year's worth of toilet paper you don't need, they're not taking it back. Mm-hmm. And speaking of hoarding, by the way, and stockpiling, Trump has signed an executive order making it a crime to excessively stockpile personal protective equipment that is needed by medical personnel fighting the coronavirus pandemic. Well, that's just a good thing. I mean, I've heard here, I have family in the medical profession who say masks have just gone missing, like hospitals don't have masks for doctors. Yep. My friend who's a nurse had three shipments back to back get stolen off of the loading dock. Uh, they don't know if it was the driver themselves, if it was somebody else. But, yeah, the guy came over, dropped the package on the back, knocked on the door, and then the package was gone. I've seen them online for 20 30 bucks a pack. Um, don't buy them. I they don't do you any good anyway. Of, yeah, I, no. I saw a three-pack of Lysol sick. wipes. I saw a three-pack of Lysol wipes on, uh, on Amazon uh, for 75 bucks. For a three pack. Well, that's not a bad deal. Um, yeah, my uh, Amazon account. They're supposed to be flagging shit like that, but I missed it. I'm having issues with my Amazon account right now, so I can't buy them. Oh, I couldn't either because they're not available. Just from this going guy for 75 bucks, and I'm not doing that. So uh, That's absurd. What the hell? Yeah. For Lysol. Come on. Yeah. I know. Oh, Jesus. Fucking people are people. just ridiculous someone's gonna buy them too bunch of morons oh yeah while you guys are hoarding stuff why don't you go to eric and gore dot world and hoard yourself some t-shirts we have need t-shirts you're gonna need t-shirts five different sizes for men five different sizes for ladies two amazing designs uh there's like 10 colors if one of the colors isn't there that you really want just shoot me an email i'll make it happen for you we can have them shipped to you i can't promise shipping right now who knows amazon's backed up three months apparently uh but they are cheap 17 dollars uh and uh, it's pay through paypal very nice and easy peasy we'll get them out to you and they're they're not going to last very long these shirts are catching on they're selling like crazy. Everyone I've ordered so far has sold. That's amazing. Right away. So, Eric and Gordon World, go buy yourself a t-shirt, please. And coming up later this year, after this corona nonsense, um, we'll have a whole bunch of different stuff for you guys to buy. You know what's really shitty is about a month and a half ago, I was going to get Eric and Gord hand sanitizers, and I didn't. Oh, man, that would have been gold yep literally that would have been amazing uh oh, there's a, a lot of breweries that are that are now uh making their own hand sanitizer that's true uh, give, as well then, as uh, uh a local um what do you call it a distillery that's right that makes gin and vodka yep, yep. yeah there's been a few of them um i think parallel 49 in, in bc is one of them that is doing it. It's one of the bigger breweries. And the uh, government, they've got the government per- permission to hand this shit out. So, Yeah, a lot of them are making it specifically just for like hospitals and things like that, which is and nurses and old folks homes and things like that. I, I, great idea. Fantastic. Well done. Yeah, it's an awesome idea. Until someone tries to melt one down and drink it, then they're fucked. But... Well, that's what was going on in India. Uh, they had a whole bunch of people die from alcohol poison because they were drinking like almost pure alcohol <laughs> thinking that it would kill the virus and it killed them well of <laughs> course 
Uh, <laughs> Dumbasses. That's the part where I say common sense has just, like, that is the first symptom that's spreading farther and wider than coronavirus ever will. It's just common sense. Like, how does, when did drinking bleach ever seem like a good idea, you retards? <laughs> Um, yeah, I can't argue that at all. Fucking morons. Jesus. <laughs> um, so, you know, the U S is trying to do a $2 trillion aid. Um, and the ironic twist to this is that it's the, um, it's, it's the other side. So it's not the, um, yeah, it's the, it's Democrats, the Democrats that are, blocking that are actually it. fighting. That are blocking it. Uh, because yes. because which, most of the yeah. aid in that package goes to corporations and not to individuals. It's just a corporate bailout. And the Democrats don't want to bail out Trump's corporate buddies. They, they're waiting for a package that actually does something for individuals. That's right. And not only that, but the... Uh, the, um, the the Democrats, the other ones, um, they're they're blaming them, saying, "Well, they they have they have hidden money in there for um, uh, 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 what is it for the um, uh, for basically for abortion clinics." And they're like, "You can't go sneaking money into there for that one. Your whole bill is sneaking in money for your buddies. What the fuck are you talking about?" <laughs> like, Come on. Again, why does the mind instantly go? What is the state's obsession with? Like, we have to stop abortions. <sighs> right now is not the time to be worrying about that. Move on. Get no. something else to worry about for a little while, fellers. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> fucking morons. Is this about abortion? No. It's got nothing ever to do with that. Unless you hear me say the word abortion, it's probably not about that. <laughs> the funny thing is, is, it just goes to show, the last one for $2 trillion, but you look at the numbers. $350 billion for small businesses, $110 billion for, for hospitals, and then a one-time a one time rebate of twelve hundred dollars per person or three grand for a family of four. Yeah, why is I don't why, think that why, equals out two trillion dollars. No, the rest is money to go to corporations so they can yeah. start buying up the properties that and the shares that other people can't afford right now. That's right. Um it's not even like clever anymore. <laughs> you can't get away with that kind of shit. <laughs> it's it's not sneaky anymore everybody knows like i said you can't be sneaky anymore there's, there's too much we know too much there's you're yeah. not getting away with any of this shit um on the other hand this thank god there's not telling us if there's aliens like look what we're doing over the fucking sniffles what would we do if we found out there was aliens <laughs> now i know now i know it's a good thing we don't know yeah, it's true. It's pathetic, but it's true. Um, it's very true. We couldn't handle it. We can't no, handle we, anything. We would go absolutely banana hammock. Look at this over a fucking... This is from China. Imagine if something came from space. <laughs> you know, you know, you, you, you got shit wrong in the U.S. when um, Kentucky Senator Rand Paul... The guy got tested a week ago for the coronavirus. Yeah. And while he was getting tested and waiting for his results, he continued to work and be around people. And then he, he gets did. the test results back, finds out that he's got the virus. In his defense, so later on that day, he also had an abortion. So. <laughs> so good. You're so quick. <laughs> Uh, I just thought that was just genius. Uh, um, now, yeah. I wonder what they do so, in Texas if your baby tested positive for coronavirus, and that's why you were trying to have an abortion. Ooh. Genius. Fetal coronavirus. You can't have that abortion. My baby's going to spread the corona. 
<laughs> well, the, that would that would go under the necessity law. Then that's fine. What well, what do we do? I, I don't know, Cletus. <laughs> I didn't think about this one. <laughs> 